Hey everybody, it's Jen Spears here. I'm currently a senior leader with Epicure and I've been with Epicure for I think almost seven years now. Tonight, I am sharing with you my Greek meal. I'm going to make chicken souvlaki, Greek salad dressing, and homemade tzatziki sauce. This video is going to show you how quick and easy chicken souvlaki can be. I've already pre-cut my chicken into slices in our uh, rectangular steamer. So this will be for one to two people. If you have more people or want leftovers, I highly suggest steaming your chicken in the multi-purpose steamer. Uh, I had a really sad looking orange pepper that really needed to be used up. So I'm just gonna slice that up and put it in with the chicken. Yes, raw chicken and raw peppers. See how quick and easy this is? I'm using a ceramic knife, black ceramic, and it's oh so pretty. All right, now that the chicken and peppers are all together in the steamer, I'm gonna grab the souvlaki spice from the Greek collection. And it tells you right on the jar what to do. It says mix chicken and bell peppers with two tablespoons of seasoning, olive oil, and lemon juice. So I don't actually usually measure. This is not the same amount of chicken that it's calling for. So I'm just going to sprinkle one tablespoon in there. Uh, maybe a little bit more. I like it spicy and flavorful. So that's actually less than what it called for. Lemon juice using our two-in-one citrus press. Half a lemon here, upside, well, that's not upside down, but that's the way it's supposed to go. Some people think you put it the other way, but you want the juice to run out the bottom. I'm just gonna squeeze that on there. Now, if I were roasting or frying this chicken, I would add the olive oil, but I'm steaming it, so I, I'm not going to add any of the olive oil. The lemon juice is going to keep it nice and juicy. All right, it's going in the microwave. The small one for about five minutes. If you're going bigger, I would say somewhere around the eight-ish minute mark. Oh, of course. Five minutes. See you when it's back. Now what I should have told you is sometimes the steamers can be a little hot or warm because of the your steaming. <laughs> so for safety purposes, you could put it on a plate when you're putting it in the microwave and then you can pull it out on the plate because plate, sometimes these can be a little uh, flimsy. I'm used to it and my microwave is low, but if you have a higher microwave, I really suggest it. So let's see. See that steam? Not sure if you can, but let's check this out. It looks pretty good to me. Ow! Nice and steamed. Oh, hear that? Now you're gonna have a bit of fluid left in the bottom. So the good thing about these, look how flimsy these are. You can just drain like it's probably the lemon juice and then the, the water from the chicken. So that is ready to go. As you, oh, I wish you could smell it, it's so good. And the souvlaki, it's mostly just garlic herbs, pepper, lemon, sea salt. So delicious. So now you can serve this in pitas, on some rice, or even on top of your Greek salad. Maybe you have other ideas. If you have other ideas, put them in the comments below because uh, Greek food can go a long way. Thanks for watching, guys. Actually, before I go, I should really tell you about these amazing steamers that we have. We have two different sizes, three different sizes, and um, they're made of silicone. So they're very heat stable and they don't leach into your food. They're good for the microwave. You can put them in the oven. They're safe for the fridge, the freezer, and even the dishwasher. Bonus! Again, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed some Greek food. I'm going to go make another video on tzatziki and Greek dressing. Good night or good day or good afternoon, good morning. Whatever it is when you watch this, I hope you have a fabulous day.